Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to do the, um, like a small version of the box knot stitch. So what you want to do, you get three colors, okay, I choose maroon, black, and white. You can use embroidery floss. So you cut them as long or short as you want, about like three times, three or four times of the wrist, your wrist. I make mine a lot bigger because I'm doing the necklace. I chose my school colors, so this is what you do. So you cut it, I already cut mine. So it's usually you take this end and tie it with the loop, you don't tie it there. You first, you tie it on the other end. But before you do that, you take apart one string. So I took out the light. One second, let me just close the door. Okay. Okay. So, you take whatever color you have, I've taken my way, and you line up the ends, making sure it's just the right in there. Still have to on the other end. Then, you do it just lay it down somewhere so it's not going to come out with the other two straight. Now, I'm going to take my black and you can do it whatever order you want of your color. You do the same thing, just line it up and then lay it down. Now, finally, my room. My room. Line up the ends, lay it down. So now we have to do I can get the in here. You see that here's the maroon end. So I have the maroon in my hand. Now I'm taking the black. They don't have to be exactly even the ends, but it doesn't hurt. Then got those two lined up. Now I'm going to take the white one. And remember, you are not tying the loop end. You're not tying this end with both loops. Tying this end with the ends. Okay, so then to tie a regular knot, what I do is I wrap around my first finger. So, take it and then put it. And then like this way. That's what you do. Now, how to make it go down. So you can just clip over the ground with the mouth because you have to have this one clipped down. So what you do, doesn't matter what order you want to not in or color, because it gets all mishmashed anyway. I mismatched and then mixed up. Okay, so then separate your colors like so. I put mine in maroon, black, and white. So what you do, take the white, put it on your finger, then take the black, take the maroon, put it on your other first finger. So you just like this, and then just pull it. Just like that. Okay, so then you can take the black, or whatever color you have in the middle, Put it on this middle finger or this middle finger. I like to start with it on my left hand. So what you do is, so you have these two strings, right? Left hand, right. Take your middle finger of your right hand, or the hand with only one string on it. Put your middle finger under. Under, extending, under, under the maroon. No, go well, under the black and go over the second part of the maroon. Take it and pull it through the black and then tighten. Okay. 
And my hands look a little like funny. There you go. Just the lighting. Once you get the hang of it, you go a lot faster. Just I'm going a little slower. And if it just falls up your fingers, just put it back up and put it back on. No big deal. You see it starts to get a little box knot. They do it with their hands like this or like this. I just choose to go like this. And some people go like, like I don't even know. It's really weird. So now I'm just gonna go a little faster to get a little longer bracelet. Okay, you can't really see the million of the black. I don't know if it was bright colors like orange and yellow. Mm -hmm. And I think um, you can do this box knot with three strings, five strings, or seven strings. And I'll show you how to do five and seven in another tutorial. I think I'll just make this one a break for make next another time. I used to have a ton of these in there, and since I've been cheerleading and softball and fancy stuff, I wouldn't want to wear it. Gotten a little longer. And this bracelet is really hard to end in the middle of it, so you just gonna have to do it when you have a lot of time, or just gonna have to find a way to keep it in order when you when you stop in the middle of it. And I'll show you how to do it. A uh, five string braid, a uh, weird Grecian braid with hat, you have to have the loops on your hands. And also, I think you can do a seven string braid too. Okay. Okay, so 
Thanks for watching. Bye.